everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today I'm facing a pile of scraps. I've been, I've been doing a lot of journal making and um, gift set making and I got stuff to deal with and my, my scrap box is overfloweth. So I thought I would bring you along for the ride and let's make some notebooks together. I'm in need of just some simple thin notebooks that I can pop into journals here and there, um, just random things. And I just thought, oh, let's see what we can make. Let's just pull from the old scrap pile, see what we got. We seem to have some interesting papers here. And uh, there's a lot of different ways you can put notebooks together in the old uh, journal world. So let's, uh, let's give her a go. All right, that's, I like that pretty blue color. That might make a, hi Holly. Yes, Holly is awake. Um, so let's just grab some papers, random scraps. They don't have to be ex the exact size. Huh, you look like you're a done thing. What are you doing in there? All right, here's some crunchy stuff. You like that? Okay. And uh, let's just let's just layer some stuff up and see how it goes. Do you, do you feel like you guys are too close? Let me let me shrink it down a bit. Okay, there you go. Okay, I hope the light is good. Is the light good? Whoop! Let me bring some light over here. Light, be here. Okay, there we go. Can you see? Okay. All right. So just grabbing some paper. I love the crinkle. I love variety. Um, I mean, this is just me ram rambling. Um, and I think this one, I'm just going to, I'm just going to layer on top of each other. I think maybe this might make a nice little cover. That's kind of cute, huh? Yeah. So we got some crinklies. What are you? You're kind of like a random, maybe I'll stick you in between there. Maybe, I don't know. How many is enough? How many is too much? Who knows? It's your junk journal. Put as many as you want in. I think, uh, oh, you look like you're already something. Well, you might actually be a cool journal page, or a little notebook page. Let me try you. Come on along. Don't be shy. Yeah. Let's give it a go. All right. You want to be cut there? Okay. Oh, I'm using the fabric scissors. No, nobody stopped me. Where were you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Back to the old paper scissors. Yep. Okay. So we got one two, three, this one's actually folded over, four, you're upside down. Not that it matters, it's okay because it's a junk journal. And five, and we could maybe even have you stick out a little bit. Okay, so now what is that? What is that you have there, Pam? Um, and now there's about a million and one ways you can get this together, and one way is to staple it. So let me grab my little stapler. Any stapler will do. Yep, and Okay, let me just do three here. And that's one quick and easy way. It keeps things flat and together and you are done. And maybe, just maybe, because you're feeling all wild and fancy pants, you wanna do some fancy bottoms on these. Um, you could layer the bottoms by tearing them. Well, oh, not tearing very well there. It's okay. All right, there. And uh, just give these like a different finish on the bottom with, um, being torn as opposed to just a straight edge. And that'll reveal the little petticoat layers underneath. See? And uh, maybe I'll do that bottom, bottom one. Uh, I'm actually working on my scrap pile. Yes, I cannot leave the room until my scrap pile is gone. I'll be here a while. Okay, so now I think I wanna cover it with a little something. And the little something can be anything actually. What's that? That might go. This is a sticker of some odd sort, but I, I do kinda like, I like that, those letters there. So maybe we'll hold that off for something else, but you can grab some fabric. Let me grab just like a little bag of fabric. Okay, I was working in this bag of fabric the other day. Oh, you're kind of cute. We got a piece sitting here, look at that. Fell into the scrap pile, can't imagine. And I could put you across there. Let's do that. Okay, so this is um, free range chicken. I'm gonna call it free range chicken notebook making. So I'm not thinking, this has to follow a theme. This has to um, be anything other than just having fun putting different papers together because you can always modify these a little bit afterwards if you want uh, to fit certain themes and things like that. So I like to have a lot of grab and goes so that when I'm making journals, I can just grab and go. Um, you don't have to grab and go. You can totally uh, um, make one at a time, make it slowly complete into the end and that's perfectly a-okay. All right, I'll just go a little further north to cover the thingies. Okay, so we have that so far. Okay, there's one, done. And I could probably put like a, a something on the front. I have this big page of somethings I've been trying to use up because it's big and bulky and I need to move it from my, uh, my existence. Okay, how about that? The story. There we go. Okay, all done. 
One. All right, so we're just going to keep going here. Grab your scrap pile. Come on, everybody, go dig deep. I know you got one. If you don't have one, you're not crafting enough. <laughs> scrap piles grow out of the dark. When you're not looking, they're all of a sudden there. And uh, you can use newspaper, magazine, old book pages. Look at this. Legal pad pages. I mean, there's really no right or wrong to wh whatever you're doing with these little fun makeshift notebooks. Um, uh, there's just no rules and we're just having fun with the reckless abandon as we do and uh, you just never know until you start digging through the pile to see what you get and you can put like contrasting things together too which can give it a bit of an eclectic wild you know uh bohemian sort of look which is kind of cool now this one i think i'm just gonna sew across be right back okay i'm attempting to sew no laughing i hear you no laughing okay i'm using whatever thread is in there and I'm just going to, maybe I'll do a zigzag. That's number four on this brother. And I'm just gonna widen the, the, the zigzags out a little bit because I'm doing paper. And I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm done. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. There's a little cutter on the back of my uh, sewing machine, which makes it very easy to cut. Okay, and we're back. And we have this little guy. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And maybe let's just put a little focal point on him just because we're going to use this stuff up again. Let's see what we're going to use. Uh, let's use you. I don't know why. I'm just going to put you there. Makes no sense whatsoever, but that's what we do. Yep. There we go. Two done. And as you can see, I am slowly meandering through the craft scrap pile here. Um, I'm not measuring anything. This is uh, just a free, a free for all. Let me get my, oh, where's the, oh, the big ones out there. The big one's way over there. No. Okay. My ruler, my favorite metal ruler is way over in the living room. Um, okay. So I have, this is kind of a, it could be a this way one or it could be a this way one. Kind of do it either way we want. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Okay. We have, apparently we have a lot of this stuff. So let's stick some more of that in there. And we can, we can tear it down if we want to. It doesn't have to be that long. We seem to have an abundance of that. Must have been cutting a lot of that during that session. What's this? Okay, here's a nice white page. We can put a white page in. That's okay. Okay. And I don't know, maybe, maybe, yeah. How about three or four pages? I got to get the ruler. Hang on. Okay, my favorite ruler has been retrieved. And now I can do some serious tearing. Yay, yay. Reckless abandon. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, now we're rocking. Okay, and sometimes you can leave these crazy edges, um, or you can uh, cut them off depending on you know how you're feeling. Whatever, whatever uh, is floating your boat that night. Let's see, that's kind of cool. I do kind of like that. Well, let me leave a little bit of this white flower on the bottom. Oop, Got a little extra there. There we go. Well, you're kind of big and wide, but we'll work with you. We can do things. We have our ways. Sometimes it's a little trick is if you get into the center and you whack-a-mole it down like that. That's the whack-a-mole move. And um, yeah, I want a little something on the front, huh? How about some book page? Some random book page? Sure. That's kind of crumply. Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So we'll do uh, here, here, and here. Eh, there we go. All right, we've got three. Now let's try the uh, fabric again. I think that would be pretty on here. Is this colorful enough? Maybe we need something a little more impact than that, huh? Yeah? No, nope. I'm get you oriented. Sorry. Um, yeah, and you're close. Okay, that's good. Are you close enough? Can you see? Can you see? Um, oh, this might be pretty. What about that? This was a bed sheet, laundered bed sheet, very handy. That's kind of pretty, a little plain. I need a little more pizzazz. Can we, can we crank up the pizzazz factor, please? Yes, we would like some pizzazz. Um, there doesn't seem to be any pizzazz in this one bag I have. I might have to resort and get another bag. Oh no, gosh forbid. What will I do getting another bag? Um, I, got, I got Blandios. Everything's Blandio. Yeah. All right. Um, well, let's look in our scrap pile. Okay, we have blue. That's kind of pretty. Actually, I like that. It's a nice contrast, and we are coming up on the winter season, so I'm going to work with that. All right, let me just grab that guy. Yeah, there you go. 
And now I'm just going to glue you down. All right. Like you were meant to be there your whole life. That's right. There. Okay. Now, um, another thing you can do along the bottom, let's say you're, you're, you don't want to tear it, but you don't want a straight edge. What can you do? You can come along with one of these goofy things. El Cheapo fancy scissors. Um, let's give this a pretty little different cut on this edge. This is, I think, Ripple or something like that, or Decal Edge. Uh -uh, this one doesn't have a name on it. It was a very El Cheapo. And sometimes if it doesn't pop enough, you come in with the Pop-O-Matic. It's called the Dauber and the ink. That's right. And that'll give you a little more contrast with your layers. So we're basically making here what looks like the petticoat booklets that I made a while back. Um, but these are just like random scrap pile petticoat booklets. This is total, just crazy town using up the scraps because there's too many. Okay, so we got that one. And you just never know what these things are going to become one day. They may stay as booklets. They may morph and change and turn into other things. You just never know. Um, oh, we got some cool, uh, wallpaper pieces here. These are so pretty. Look at these. Okay, let's use some of that. Okay. All right. Nice little booklet. Uh, I would like to have put your face on the front, but you're in the fold. You're in the fold with you. Now, let's do some fancy cutting here. Give you a nice edge. Yeah, we'll use this as a cover. You don't have to start with the cover. You can actually work from the inside out. Maybe we'll do that on the next one. Um, 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 um. All right, what are you? Okay, that's kind of nice. All right, and you don't have to decide on the lengths of the paper. You can trim them all down at the end. So you can just take a bunch, fold them up, tuck them in, and then do your sizing at the end. So it's very low pressure. You can also stagger them. Like you can put some up here. This guy can go in the middle here and be staggered down here. So if they're not the same length, you can kind of work with it in your design. And uh, maybe put something here. Okay, maybe one more. You, you're kind of pretty. We're just a single. That's okay, we can work with you. We'll just sneak you in there. How about that? All right, now I'm gonna go sew this one. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this, but remember, I don't have to commit to this. I could actually come and cut this like this and have two notebooks. So if you're making a bigger one, don't, don't fret. You don't have to commit too soon. But if you do want to come in and put like a pretty something on there, um, you can totally do that. So I'm, I'm back to this thing. All right, what are I going to put on here? How about, oh, are you too long? No, you might actually look pretty cool. Let's see if you will work. My mission is to use up everything on this page. Oh, that looks kind of cool. All right, let's do that. Yeah. All right. There we go. Very cool, huh? What? You want to be torn? Okay. All right. Settle down. I'm tearing you. Yeah, I'll give you the tear look. I know. Okay. There we go. We have a few little rough edges there. Fun. Crinkle factor. Life is good. And we carry on. What else do we have in the pile? Grab your pile. Don't be shy. It's okay. Yeah. Um, okay, this is going to be a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it has a torn top, so maybe we're going to tear the bottom. Let's just cheat or tear here. It's easier and faster. Oh, look at us go. And how about this cheat or tear? Ready? One, two, three. Whee! Oh, halfway. And the rest of the way. Nope, three quarters of the way. And uh, almost. <laughs> Did we do it? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we have torn edges. Very nice. Now I should get rid of the tiny scraps so I can actually feel like I'm making progress. Um, you might look cool inside. Let's put you in there. We'll figure out all about your, your tears and everything later. But that might be a nice contrasting color, huh? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. And a lot of skinnies. Oh, here, here we go. We got some stuff hiding down here. Look at you. Yeah, you're kind of a, what are you? Oh, you're a giant sticker. Look at that. Now we'll use you for something else later. Um, oh, okay. Here we have some coffee dyed paper. Oh, we can do things with you, coffee dyed paper. Yes, we can. Um, so if you ever have some pages that don't quite come out right when you're coffee dyeing, um, save them for scraps because you can use them for so many things. And uh, okay, I'll stick you in there. Oh, we got the crunchy paper. Here's This is uh, coffee dyed tracing paper. 
some kind of parchment paper or something. I think it's tracing paper. Put you in there. And these can be little notebooks inside journals. Okay, so this one, I think I will staple. Um, you can also, well, let me just show you this. This you can also, instead of sewing across the top as I did, you can sew down the middle seam. Zoom like that. And I'll be right back. Okay, I did it all in my in my great wisdom. I forgot to take it off zigzag, but so I have a zigzag down the center, but that's okay. It still works. And um, what I think I'm going to do is put a focal point on there. And which one are you going to use? I like maybe that big rose. That might work. Let me try it. I'm going, I'm going for the big one. Oh my God, it's a giant rose. I might have to do some trimming. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I don't know where that came from. Some book. Mm, probably got it at Tuesday morning. Echo Park Paper Company. Yeah, there you go. So isn't that pretty? Very cool, right? And I would probably tear this. Yes, I would. Just so it's coherent. Cohesive. Yeah, that's the word I want. Okay. Uh, next. What else we got? So we got this coffee dye paper. We have some more. Okay, we can make a smaller one. Here's a nice little piece of wallpaper. What else we got? Oh, there's a book page. Nope, not much of a book page. Okay, let's get organized here. Let's put some squares over here. We'll start with a crunchy because it's here. We can always trim later. Oh, there's a half a page. We'll use that. See, the pages don't even have to be whole pages. They can be partial pages. Torn pages actually look pretty cool. Um, and you can also layer on top of your cover. You don't just have to um, stick with putting stuff inside. So let's, we'll give that a try. You're pretty. We'll have to do something with you. Um, more wallpaper. I'm just trying to put the bigger pieces over on one side so I can find some. Let's see. Well, we, oh, we did that already. We're doing different things. What can we do that's different? Oh, you're kind of pretty. You want to come out? No, oh, we need more contrast. More contrast. All right. Okay. See something goldish here. That's kind of cool. Let's work with that. Okay. And tear ruler. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're going to say. It's easier if you put it on the other side and tear with the bigger piece. Okay, I hear you. No, it's not going to work. It's too, it's, the paper's too thin. It's like a waxy paper. So I have to do it old school. Going old school here. The old-fashioned hand tear. That's right. That's how it's done around these parts. All right. So I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to put that there, actually. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And then... I'm going to take something and stick it on top. Are you a nice contrast? Oh, you're very different. We shall see. We shall see. What else do I have in here? It's got to be something else. Ooh, yeah, not that. <laughs> How about this? Meh, meh, meh. What are you? Well, that's kind of pretty. Maybe? No, I don't know. Hang on. Let me get another, let me get another bag. We have more. Okay, I now officially have uh, three extra bags. So I have no excuse for a shortage of material. I have tons of stuff here. Let's just try things on for size. You? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Here we go. That's a... Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. All right, let's do that. Um, can you see? Let me bring you a little closer. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just like a little random piece of uh, something. Something that was snipped along the way and said, hey, today is my day. So here we go. Maybe I'll put you on this way. Yeah. Get your fuzzball off. Away you go, Mr. Fuzzball. And like I said, these can be tweaked and morphed later. But um, this just gives you a nice little uh, grab and go pile. All right. Tearing scissor. And tearing scissor. I do like that. Uh, oh, well, it's gone now. I was going to say, I do like the color on that. And. Maybe I just want to emphasize this bottom edge a little bit. It shows a little bit more against the one beneath it. And you can do that. Totally up to you. No pressure. No, no pressure here. Um, and one little sticker. I'll put you there. There. There we go. How cute is that, right? Now you could put rubber stamping or stickers or notes or quotes or poems or, or just leave it for a fun space, writing space, tear away space. Somebody may want to decorate their journal a certain way. Oh, that's a nice piece of paper. 
All right, so we'll work with you. We'll make a small one. Uh, that's a nice little piece of wallpaper. Let's see. You on there. Okay. And, oh, that's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try and layer up the interesting, see what it comes up with. Okay, maybe this will just be a three-parter. Yeah. Now you can also, with the stapler, staple. Oh, well, no, not with this one. Um, hang on. You get the regular, old-fashioned, never fail you swing line. And you need a soft surface to do it into. This might be my soft surface. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Nope, didn't work. Try it again. Nope, didn't work. Well, not bad, actually. That one wasn't horrific. Wasn't the best thing, though. Okay, let me show you how it's really supposed to be done. All right, here we go. You grab a piece of uh, something like... This is what I use. It's packing. It's kind of like a firm styrofoam something or other. And when I do it in here, it just magically works. Because what it does is it... Okay, did it work? Yes. What you want are your little staple ends to stand up. And that way you can come along with your handy dandy scissors or your thumbnail and just press them down. And uh, they're pretty easy to press. You can do it with your fingers. And um, there you go. Now you can take something maybe like this, all right? And you can do a little uh, spine bind on it. Like, well, let me just make one and I'll just show you. Okay, this will give us uh, some more security in the spine and give it a little more decor. Yeah. Okay. Let me stay there. Okay, you go there. Okay, now we fold you over. Whoop. And we're hoping for equanimity. And um, I think it looks best when your, your papers are multiple colors or good contrasting colors, I guess that would be a good way to say it. So I could improve in that department here, I think. But um, I can also change the color of things with the magic of ink daubers. So maybe we'll play with that a little bit. Just show you how to do that. Okay, so now I'm show, showing the layering. Let me back up just a little bit. Boom. Okay, showing the layering. I don't know, there's something Beatrix Potter about this little tiny book. I love it. Um, okay, where's my little anchor? My anchored anchor. Maybe. Hmm. Let's get something. Get, let's get the pinker anchor and see what that'll do. All right, let's make you pink. Because we can. Because we can daub. And daub with the best of them. And that's always a great way to uh, change the color on things. So I don't know how much that shows. The more ink on here, the pinker it gets. Okay. Yep. Okay. So uh, you can do different things like that. That one's done. And let's just keep working through the pile here. Working through the pile. Here's some uh, eco-dyed paper. That's pretty. Okay, let's make it just a, a plain layered one. Like this is just going to be random torn papers together. Oh, this is kind of cool. I love uh, braille paper. It's so cool. All right, let's just put you up there. Maybe a big one in the back. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like to call these maybe tearaways. Tearaways so that um, you can just tear away little bits and use it uh, to decorate your journal throughout. What, you want another piece? Okay, well, where do you want to go? Here? All right, there you go. Okay, lots of different colors and designs. They don't all have to be aligned. Um, they can be staggered as such because there are no rules. Um, there, let me just line this puppy up and I'm gonna go sell it. I'll be right back. Wait, 
And I'm back, and I'm back. Okay, I don't know if I was recording there. I may have just been talking to myself, but I made this one. Do you like it? Yeah, it's kind of layery, kind of cool. Okay, we're carrying on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what we got. Those guys go over there. All right, what's this? Oh, that's a nice little booklet cover. This was actually just two avocado dyed papers glued together. I did that for a day once. <laughs> just glued a bunch of those together. Oh, here's some really pretty um, vintage ledger. I'll save that. Love that. Love it. Okay, let's put some contrasting. I'm going to work more with contrast this time. Give me the contrast. Oh, it's all about the contrast. What we got here? Dig deep, Sally. All right, there's some contrast. Oh, there's some. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Some... Uh, this is an old children's book, very caramel colored age. Love that. Oh, I think that looks just so pretty just the way it is. Yes. Okay. There's one. Be right back. And we are done on that one. Now, do I want to stick something on it? Maybe because I said I was going to use these up. Oh, that's pretty. How about this one? The garden. Yeah. All right. Um, very cute, huh? Okay. Plunk. All right, let's hear some book page. Oh, look at that. That's real old inner book page. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. All right, let's make something with that. Let's make a little notebook. It's very fragile. Too fragile? Maybe a little fragile. It might be um, better for, um, see it just tears, um, like individual page. Yeah, so we might just put a pile of pages together and we'll use that as the cover. Maybe we'll add that on top. That might be pretty. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else. Keep digging, Pam. I got a lot of manila folder. You know, I was all into the manila folders the other week. Had, couldn't get enough of my manila folder. That's cute. I think I might even just glue that right on there. And uh, remember, I can always tear all this stuff later. That's pretty. I'm going to give you in there. Maybe not all of you. Maybe some of you. All right. Come here. Some old ledger. Yep. All right. Well, that's kind of pretty. You're getting kind of big, though. Well, we can always trim you down. We can trim you down. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have scissors. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go sew that. And you should be rightly saying, Pam, that piece of uh, over coffee dyed broken paper is not going to stick on its own. What are you going to do about that? You're right. It's not. I'm going to glue it down with some Fabrifix because Fabrifix will pretty much glue anything down in place just about fabric to fabric fabric to paper paper to paper not sponsored <laughs> just like the glue um okay so i just love the, the the you know you get these real crunchy crinklies every once in a while but you can still use them isn't that cool very cool all right something from here okay what do we want we want uh I'll grab maybe this rose i've got a rose here I'm grabbing that rose i'm just gonna put them on like that. There. And then I'll figure out the size and everything later, depending on where I put it in a journal. Um, uh, I like to sew stuff. You don't have to sew stuff. Sewing is optional. And um, it can just, you know, make your day. So don't forget to take a look at your scrap pile every once in a while. Get those fingers, um, get those sleeves rolled up. Stuffed bag for journal. That must have been some secret note to myself. Um, and get in there and start, um, making some quickie, uh, skinny notebooks for your journals because, um, they're a lot of fun for people to find in a journal. It gives them something extra to play with. It's a removable, uh, you can glue the back on to a page or you can also, um, uh, just tuck it into a pocket or clip it onto the side of a page. And that's fun too. So, uh, there's a lot of ways to have fun with these guys. Yep. Okay. Let's try this. Mm-hmm. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. All right. Back to the machine. Be right back. Ta-da! So let me pull out what we made so you can get an eyeball of what we made in just a few minutes. Because um, that's all we have the time together with us and my, my limited uh, cell phone camcorder. Not camcorder, my camera here. Uh, but these are the goodies that we made. And uh, just, uh, you know, if you guys enjoyed yourselves here, this is, you know, if you've been around forever, thank you so much. For those of you who are new, I've got, you know, you might want to 
Uh, here are these little details, but um, if you liked what you saw, please uh, like, subscribe, and share, and click the notification bell. And if you're looking for any um, specific tools or supplies that I use, I try and list everything in my Amazon store below. And uh, if you're, uh, I have an Etsy shop where I have digital kits as well as surprise journal and gift set sales occasionally. And um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter you can sign up for, and you get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with. Um, junk journal tips and um, a checklist of junk journal supplies and also a note from the bookmaker. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And um, 7 a.m. Eastern time, my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays and they're free to listen to on Anchor. And the links are all down below. And uh, you can also listen to it on Spotify or um, um, Apple, you know, those things. There's about seven, eight, eight different platforms. And um, uh, a Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. Come on out and play with us. And we're talking about junk journals, asking questions, getting tips from each other, showing what we're making, doing weekly and monthly challenges if you're interested. And you're also welcome to lurk and just hang out. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. Remember to create with reckless abandon. And remember that fun can be simple. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.